If an electric stovetop surface element won't heat up, the wire inside of its steel casing may be broken. There's another common problem with heating elements that's important to check. I'll show two ways to test a surface element and how to look for the other common problem. If you have a multimeter, set it to read resistance. Test the multimeter and its leads by placing the two ends of the meter leads together. You should read almost zero ohms. If the multimeter is not auto-ranging, set the dial to read under 100 ohms. Place the multimeter leads onto a clean and corrosion-free location on the terminal ends of the surface element. A good 6-inch surface element should read around 45 ohms. This one reads within 10 ohms of that target, so it's good. A good 8-inch element should read around 27 ohms. This one reads 24 ohms, and that's within 10 ohms of our target reading, so it's good. A broken element will read an open or a very high resistance reading. There is a tightly packed ceramic powder between the wire and the element's steel casing. The powder does not conduct electricity. It protects you from getting electrocuted while using your stove, but it transfers heat from the wire to the steel casing. To ensure that there's not a short between the wire inside of the steel casing and the steel casing, clip one lead onto one terminal end of the surface element and then clean off the outer casing of the surface element and place the other meter probe on it. A good element will read open if you read a high resistance reading or any resistance replace the element. There's another way to test the surface element it's not as reliable as using a multimeter. Swap the non-working element with another element that is the same size. If the surface element doesn't work in either location, then it's probably bad. Examine the terminal ends of the surface element. If they are pitted and blackened, then it's likely that the receptacle block is worn and the connection between the surface elements terminals and the receptacle blocks terminals are loose. Here's the terminal ends of a new surface element. Loose connections cause arcing and damage to both the receptacle block and the surface element. Symptoms of a loose connection are the surface element has to be wiggled to get it to work, it won't work at all, it won't heat properly, or it only works intermittently. If the surface element's terminal ends are blackened and pitted, it's best to replace both the receptacle block and the surface element. Only remove surface elements when absolutely necessary. I have additional stove troubleshooting videos. And one that shows how to replace a receptacle block. Click on the channel name know how now to find them. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. And thanks for watching.